What we believe is that just as I'm blowing bubbles, the sun is blowing magnetic bubbles off of its surface. When I blow a bubble, if I blow it just a little bit, it expands, but it doesn't break off. But if I blow it harder, it breaks off and forms a bubble. Same with the sun. If the magnetic fields in the sun blow a little bit, the structures stretch out, but they don't break off. However, if the sun blows a lot with its magnetic field, then a structure breaks off and this bubble of plasma and magnetic field can fly towards the Earth. To understand what makes the plasma break off, Paul has built a machine which can do something that sounds impossible, create a mini solar storm right here on Earth. To do that, they must create a piece of the sun's surface inside this chamber. Massive electric currents supply the magnetic field through this rod, generating a cloud of plasma just like the surface of the sun. These conditions only last a split second and have to be imaged by this high-speed camera that captures the moment of eruption. Are you ready to turn on the high voltage? Yep. Okay, let's go for four kilovolts. Okay. Charging. One kilovolt. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Four. Okay, well, we've got a nice shot here. This is a plasma loop with very large currents and magnetic fields. It's exploding outwards at very high velocity, uh, tens of kilometers per second. And the electric currents here are very large. The electric power that we're using of the order of 100 million watts, the sort of power that you would use for running a small city. So here we have an electric current of probably about 50,000 amps going from a top electrode to a bottom electrode. And that produces a magnetic force that effectively is producing a pressure inside that's pushing this plasma out, just like the air pressure on the bubble pushes the bubble out. Just like a bubble, these loops on the sun need to reconnect. And when it gets pushed out to a certain point, it can break off. That's magnetic reconnection. It's like the bubble popping. And the popping here isn't a pop like the sound you hear. It's actually x-rays being shot out and energetic particles being shot out. And so what you get is energetic particles, x-rays, and the actual plasma can head towards Earth. Plasma can plow into the Earth and wreak havoc 